We have another sample problem here. A small object is 25 centimeters from a diverging lens as shown in the figure. A converging lens with a focal length of 12 centimeters is 30 centimeters to the right of the diverging lens. The two lens system forms a real inverted image 17 centimeters to the right of the converging lens. What is the focal length of the diverging lens? So two lens system, we can still use our equations that relate S, S prime and F, but we can only use them for one lens at a time. The lens itself, or sorry, S, S prime and F have to be measured from the lens we are doing the calculations for. So for example, well not example, but to approach this problem, lens one is always the lens that the light will pass through first. So ultimately, it's the lens that has the uh, object closest to it. So lens one is our diverging lens, and this focal length ultimately is what we are looking for. This is what we want to find. We know S1, the object distance is 25 centimeters. They tell us that as well as show us that in the picture. We don't know S1 prime, and we need to know that in order to use this lens maker's equation up here, or sorry, the thin lens equation to solve. So since we do not have enough information yet, let's look at lens two. So I'm just gonna write the equation that we will solve. No, well, not two, sorry, one. So we currently have S1. We need S1 prime to determine F. So lens two. We're told this converging lens has a focal length of 12 centimeters. So F2 is 12 centimeters. Write that better. We know it's 30 centimeters to the right of the diverging lens, and we know that it forms a real inverted image. So the image itself, S2 prime, is real, which means it is positive. It is 17 centimeters to the right of that converging lens. So real images, positive S prime, and for lenses, real images are on the opposite side of the lens from the object. Well, since I have F and S prime for lens two, I can figure out S two, where the object for lens two was located such that we got this final image. So one over F minus one over S prime I'm getting 40.8 centimeters. That means this object was 40, okay, that's bigger than 40. 
I'm trying to kind of represent on my picture the 40.8 in here. We were told this image was inverted, which means this object was upright. So in order for that final image to be inverted. Okay, object two is image one. So that is the image or where the image would be that was created by that diverging lens. Now we cannot use 40.8 as S1 prime. S1 prime needs to be measured from lens one to that image. So S1 prime. Number one, it is on the same side as the object, the original object. So when I look at the test notes for the image distance for a lens, same side means it's virtual. That means S1 prime needs to be negative. Now the actual distance is going to be the 40.8 minus the 30 centimeters. Right? There's 30 centimeters up here in the picture, there's 30 centimeters between the lenses. The 40.8 is the distance from the right-hand lens to that image. So let's see, what do we get? 10.8. So negative 10.8 centimeters is S1 prime. Coming back to my equation on the left, 1 over 5 centimeters away from lens 1, our image ends up being negative 10.8. Again, negative because its image ends up on the same side as the object. It's virtual. Plugging this in, I'm getting negative 19 centimeters. The focal length of this diverging lens is negative 19 centimeters. The negative sign is because it's a diverging lens. If you looked at the table in the test notes, you would see diverging lens in that column for negative. So different than the other example problems we did, but similar in that we can use the lens equations to represent or work with each lens individually. We want to make sure we measure distances from the lens we're doing the calculations for. This particular problem didn't talk about magnification at all. That's why I didn't use the magnification equations. We could find it if we wanted. The total magnification would be the magnification due to lens 1 times the magnification due to lens 2. <laughs>